Hello everyone! How are y'all doing tonight? How is everyone? Feeling so far so good? Can I hear a yeah? Yeah! Can I hear a finger yeah? Yeah! That's the spirit! So before I begin my speech, I would like to send my biggest and most sincere thank you to the TEDx UEF for, again, for organizing such a meaningful event and for allowing me to be here. So please everyone, can you give them a round of applause for bringing us together tonight? So hello everyone, my name is Anne, and I've been to 21 countries. And to me, traveling is a great teacher of life. It enriches us greatly. Whenever we step out to see the world, to meet new people, to get acquainted to different cultures, to try and taste new cuisine, or just simply to breathe in a strange environment, we are learning. And learning through traveling comes naturally. We don't have to try anything too hard. We just need to lose ourselves into the hands and the arms of a strange environment. And today I will share with you my three stories that I learned from my travel journey. The first story is to be adaptable. And now I will share with you one of the things that I am very, very, very proud of when it comes to my traveling history. I've been to the police station of three foreign countries. I know, I will repeat. I have been to the police station of three foreign countries. And I guess that makes me somewhat an international criminal, maybe? <laughs> maybe the NC must have introduced me as an international criminal to you. But please don't make it in a headline. Anyway, so the first time was in Belgium because our rented car got scratched by another car and we need to go to the police station to have a document to bring back to the rental company so that we don't have to pay for the damage. The second time happened in Real Madrid in Spain because our stuff was stolen. But luckily, the police has caught the thief, so we uh, don't lose anything. We didn't lose anything. The third time was in Singapore, and it was last weekend. And it was actually because of this event that I had to change entirely my script for TEDx. Because this story resonates with me so much that I have to share it with you. I was on a cruise trip. And one of my crew members touched another woman on the cruise as a friendly gesture. Let me tell you this, this let me tell you the story. So we were kind of blocking the area, and there was this lady that wanted to go through, and my friend, one hand, he was pointing the direction. The other hand, he was sort of patting on the lady's pike as saying, please you can go. So for me, and I guess for the majority of us, this gesture can be seen as normal to our cultures. However, to her culture, it is a violation. And she was very angry with us, with him. So we had to go, and uh, she filed a police report. So we have to go to the police station to give a uh, testament about the accident. So after this accident, I realized that every culture is different. Every place has a different set of norms. Whenever we go out, we have to learn, we have to understand about the circumstances, about the cultures of the place that we are going to so that we can fit in and we can adapt. And adaptability is a critical skill in our life and it can be applied in many situations in life, not just traveling. When we change our schools or when we change our jobs or change our locations, we need to adapt to new circumstances in order to fit in and in order to grow. But what is great about traveling is that the more you travel, the more you explore the unknown, the more you will be adaptable. You will, de you will develop a package of standard social interactions that helps you interact and connect with any human being on this planet. So my first lesson is, to be adaptable. For my second lesson, I will introduce you to a definition that my family comes up with. It's called stupid money. Or in Vietnamese, we will say they move. So what is stupid money? It happens whenever we travel and we miss our flight or when we miss our train 
or when we book for the wrong things, or when we waste our money on stupid or irrelevant things, which happen a lot, believe me. As a person who travels considerably, I cannot tell you how many times I have missed the train or the buses or the flights. I know for a fact that I have missed at least one flight. I have booked the wrong flight at least one time as well. When it was supposed to go from A to B, I booked from B to A for four people and they had to bear the entire cost of that trip. So, how to deal with this situation, right? So as a perfectionist, I know that this particular lesson is very difficult for me because I like to plan things and I like to think and I like that things to go the way that I plan. So when it doesn't go the way it should be, I feel irritated, I feel upset and ended up ruining the entire trip. So for me, the key to overcome this problem is first to understand that there will always be at least one stupid event like this. There will always be at least one event with the stupid money like this. So when it happens, I don't have to feel irritated. I can just calmly find my calmness and let it go and then focus on the next steps, focus on how to move on from that, to book the next flight, to book the next train, or to find way to the next destination. So flexibility is a critical skill in our life as well, and we need to learn how to be flexible. Flexibility is not just the way we act, but it is also the way our mind works. We have to understand that not everything in life can go, perfect, can go perfectly the way it is planned. There will always be a small percentage of error, and we need to embrace this uncertainty and then to act fast and rapid and flexibly on this uncertainty. So be flexible. For my third lesson, this is also my most important lesson, the one that resonates with me in all aspects of life, which is to be grateful. And I learned this lesson the most after COVID and nowadays when it is much more difficult to travel. So now if I have the chance to go out and if there are small inconveniences happening to me, I will calmly learn how to let it go. Because every time we get to travel nowadays, it's a luxury, it's a chance, it's an opportunity, it's a privilege to go out and explore the world. So don't take traveling for granted anymore. And most importantly, be grateful for all the things that you have learned during the trips. Sometimes on a trip, you will not know that it could be the last time that you experience a thing like that. For example, the friends that were traveling with you, they could go study abroad, they could go live abroad, or they could get married and they will not hang out with you anymore. Things like that can happen. It's called the unpredictability of life, and we have to accept it. And so whenever we get the chance to travel, we have to fully enjoy it. We have to treasure every moment during our travels, every moment, the ups and the downs. We, and most importantly, we have to be grateful for this opportunity to go out, to explore the world and to learn more about the world surrounding yourself and about yourself. I am grateful for all the time I get to travel with my friends and my family. I am grateful for all the friendships and the connections that I made during my trips. I am grateful for all the lessons, the experiences, the ups, the downs, because these are the things that make me who I am today, that shape the personality that I am, that give me motivation, that give me passion, that give me strength, that give me history, that give me characteristic, that give me the past, the present and the future and most importantly they give me the opportunity to stand here with you thank you